Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll learn how to build a sluggable trait to be used in any model that we want to use instead of code duplication. What do we mean by slug? If we go here in our database, I have a product and post tables. And here, if we noticed, I have a column called the slug and it separates or it replaces the spaces of title with dash here to access it maybe slash product slash this slug here or post slash slug and as we know the same thing for products table also replaces the spaces between two words to dashes so for example here in my controller i have a, a controller called show post controller here this one in normal way we do something like this we create the root binding model here and slash the id here for example but maybe for SEO and maybe for user experience we want to is say like this using this slug here right post slash slug and we can do it easily using slug here instead of id refresh now it works and if i try to enter id it will not work because it depends on a slug so while creating post how can we save this slug dynamically is that what we will learn in this video so first of all i will go to my uh, post model here and firstly, I will define our uh, sluggable column. So I will say sluggable here. And I want to slug the title column to be like this, right? And then I will use our static boot method here, static, and using boot, right? And again here, parent boot. And I will say, while saving, creating, or updating a new post, I will see here our closure, refer to post here, the current created post or saving post. And I want to say here, post slug, right, will equal to post this post here and this sluggable. I again here this lookable here so this is equal to this part is equal to here post type right here now i have my factory here post factory which saves only title and the content and automatically the slug column here will be created while saving or creating so let's just let's try here and create post i want to say post instead of self right let's try again and now it's created but we must use a method here if we back again i will remove this nothing happened here but we must use str slug method so i will say here use str right slug and there's a default separator here if we notice the separator dash right using str here now let's try to do it again and it's saved and if we notice here we have dash between two words every two words here and now if i try to access this post in my browser here it's one it returns this post with this slug here Right now, let's create our trait to apply this thing here. But what if, for example, a user want to change this slug column to another name? So we need also to define this protected slug column here equal to by default equal to slug, right? And I will use it the same also for post slug slug column right now if i retry to save it again it works correctly without any problem now let's create our tra our trade to make it usable everywhere we want and i will apply it also in my uh, product model so first of all i will go to our app folders here right i have already a trade uh, folder i think actually i want to create it directly inside app folder i will say here the trade trades and I will call it here luggable.php and here generate 
namespace automatically and create called logout right and I will copy the code here this method inside this but there is a small thing in Laravel if you if you define this boot method it must be boot plus this trait name and I will call our str method here also and now I will say here use slugable instead of post by the way I will say it model and if I try to save it here it will not re save anything I will remove them also if I try again nothing is saved because I will remove this method here and now let's try to recreate it create and now it's created easily this post here using our trait so back here and let's use this and it works perfectly now let's use this trait inside our product because here our product table has the same slug column and works with the same logic so I will say here use sluggable and I will define here protected hot called here our yes our sluggable column will be name because here is the column name is name and the same also slug column called slug so I will create a new product using factory and let's see product it's created successfully here and if I try to use product I must by the way I am using IZ currently for product I will use slug here also let's use it and now it works correctly one small thing I want to do actually here we don't need to define this uh, slug column here because I will say here slug column equal to model slug column if it's not defined use by default slug here so if I remove it and I will remove it here from the product also let's retry yes inside the trait also I will use slug column this is right here let's retry again and works correctly let's try it for post also and works without problems let's for example change our slug name inside products for maybe URL plug and save I will say also here inside our product to find it it will call URL slug and let's try to use product factory save the inside user slug slug the here and if I try to access it using web I will use URL slug also let's try to refresh our page and then a singing change and the work is correct and now after implementing this uh, trait I decided to convert it into a larval package actually it is a very simple code I created this uh, composite JSON right and send another thing here and I created here my sluggable trait and it's called a uh, Abdelhamid sluggable if you are wondering about the name my role model here right and then I published it to packages here right using composer require and even I created its github repository I will add it in the description you can also make this package by yourself right so let's try to install it in our uh, project and yeah, go now and I will say here this one composer require Abdelhamid Laravel slug and now it's installed let's try to use it in our project here in our Laravel project and I will remove it from here I will say sluggable call my package here and let's try to use it with current our root here if I refresh the page no errors no change let's try to use it also with a post I tried it actually before recording the same thing here take a look at posts here and I will say post 
slash this slug here and it works correctly here's quickly how to create a sluggable trait and use it everywhere instead of good duplication if you found it useful support me by i like share and subscribe see you in next video